How did we get this? Elon Musk and Donald Trump completely break the internet. And again, I said to Vladimir Putin, I said, don't do it. You can't do it, Vladimir. You do it. It's going to be a bad day. And he said, no way. And I said, way. This is one of the many moments of the fly on the wall experience between Donald Trump and Elon Musk making a record breaking conversation that wasn't even a professional podcast. It was literally them on their phones talking out on X. But how do we get here? Where do we start? I would say that this premise started back in 2021 on an exclusive app called Clubhouse. Hello everybody, my name is Carl Lightning and today we're talking about how Donald Trump and Elon Musk broke the internet, which is really interesting as I've just mentioned Clubhouse, which was an exclusive application that released back in 2021. It was that fly on the wall experience where you could just listen to conversations happening. They weren't pre-recorded, they weren't posted anywhere after, they were just conversations. And like I said, you didn't have to join in, you could literally just listen. Now it was an exclusive application to start with, you had to get an invitation. Um, but when this first released, it was amazing. You had small content creators and absolutely giants having a conversation. Now, with this being peak 2021, obviously we were all hiding and isolating and staying safe. So not a lot of us were outside and more of us were on our smartphones joining online clubs or starting content creation. We did a lot between 2021 and 2022 in terms of getting online. And obviously this is why Clubhouse started to thrive because there was more communities online and it was designed for niches to come together. There was like poetry reading, there was like singing, online jams, and then there was us in the content creation sphere which obviously we were talking about Twitch, YouTube Shorts had just released and then obviously we got TikTok as well. So there was these mass of creators having a conversation. But how does this fit into breaking the internet? Because this app was kind of an exclusive at the start, there was a like a drive for big content creators to get involved. We saw names like 21 Savage, uh, Marquez Brownlee and even Legal Eagle. This is a conversation I was listening to and I didn't think that this crossover would ever exist, but it did. Now, because more and more content creators were joining, we had the likes of the Paul Brothers also join. And then a week later, Elon Musk started his own conversation on there and the whole app blew up. At this point, it was a lot easier to access. It wasn't as exclusive, but the numbers were bumping up. Elon Musk was hosting a show on an application and people wanted to listen. Let that sink in is exactly what happened in 2022. Elon Musk went and acquired Twitter and created X and within the year Spaces, which Spaces is very similar on the same premise as Clubhouse. So this is how it links to the past because Elon Musk knew that this format would work and he had a platform that he knew he could implement it in. So fast forward to the 12th of August, 2024, and you've got two of the biggest guys having an unfiltered conversation on a public platform. Anybody could listen. And I was there at two in the morning, listening to it like it was a podcast. I had Donald Trump's face on my screen, which was very interesting. And that's what made me think about making this video because it was like, why am I listening? I've got no interest in either of them, American politics or even Mars. And here I am listening like a fly on the wall. And I think that's what people enjoyed, the unfiltered nature of two people that really shouldn't be having a conversation. They're not, you know, they're not part of the same niche. They shouldn't be collabing, but here they are, if we were to use content creation terms. And I think it was just that, whoa, this is a groundbreaking conversation. There are millions of people listening to the point where there are 209 million current playbacks of the conversation. It's been quoted, it's been sent around, and it's now being questioned whether it is a political or unfair move from Donald Trump. However, I believe the biggest winner in this is X. It shows off the platform, spaces, their element that allows unfiltered conversations and community, just like what Clubhouse was, but on a major scale. If you've got X, you've got access to spaces. So it's not an exclusive application. And Elon Musk himself has invited the opposition of the election onto spaces as well. So it is kind of a fair platform. And whether this gets used more and more as a variable source of media in terms of getting information straight from the source. I mean, Donald Trump himself was literally sitting there on a smartphone showing you don't need a podcast setup to have this conversation. And that's the difference between this and a podcast. It's raw. It's literally, you're sitting there, you're just having a conversation and the rest of you are listening. The option to join in wasn't available on this one, but Spaces 
could be transforming the way we have conversations online, almost to the point where communication tools might not necessarily be needed, unless if it's like a meeting. It's crazy. I never thought I'd be talking about X on this channel, especially after the rebrand killed off the lovely blue bird. But there we go. That is how Elon Musk and Donald Trump were at the internet. They have numbers that are so sky high and it got us everyone talking. So there we have a record-breaking conversation, a bar now set by Elon on his platform on Spaces. Whether this is gonna be the next couple of years of unfiltered conversations between high-profile people that's gonna get the media's and everyone else's attention, or is this just a fluke that's gonna drop off straight away? I guess we're gonna to have to watch this space no pun intended there, I actually didn't mean to put that in. It's an interesting one, whether we're going to see this more or whether it is just carried by the media and the election and, and what's going on in America that's made it so big that people wanted to listen, or just the fact that Donald Trump is kind of a social media influencer to a point. I will let you guys decide on that one, of course, but I hope you've enjoyed today's sort of like in the now history lesson. I'm not a history channel, so this is kind of a weird space, but it's definitely interesting to talk about. And of course, if you're new around here, my name is Carl Lightning. I run this channel. And if you could consider subscribing, and if not liking the video, it helps the channel go a long way. And it's been definitely an interesting topic to talk about today. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Check out all the other videos that we have on the channel. We talk a lot about social media, Snapchat, I like my good friends. So we talk about a lot about that on this channel as well. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and we'll catch you in another one.